My name is Richard St. Dennis. I'm the director of World Access Project. We provide wheelchairs, crutches, walkers, and canes to indigenous people with disabilities in Mexico who otherwise would not have the financial resources to obtain them. The equipment we provide to people with disabilities is collected throughout the United States, transported in a container to Mexico, store them in a warehouse, and then give them to the people who need them. The biggest part of it for me is giving mobility to people that have no chance ever of getting a wheelchair, a walker, or crutches. And through the organization, we're able to do that. Being stuck inside of a room for their whole life isn't a life. The people we give wheelchairs to don't have the financial resources to buy them. A good wheelchair in the United States costs as much as $2,000, and that could be a six-month salary for someone. Many of the people we give wheelchairs to come in with their mother carrying them in their arms, or they're pushed in an old wheelchair if they have one, and sometimes we see them pushed in in wheelbarrows. We've met people up to 35 years old who were born with their disability never had a wheelchair, never left their house. We give them the wheelchair. At first they don't know what to do with it. They get their hands on the wheels and they move around a little bit. You see their eyes light up and all of a sudden their life is completely different. Today we're in Atlacomulco, Mexico, about three hours northwest of Mexico City. We have 15 volunteers from the United States who are giving away wheelchairs to people within 50 miles away from where we live. This week we expect to give medical equipment to more than 100 people. Después de que recibí la silla de ruedas, mi vida cambió totalmente. Para mí es una bendición que haya llegado a mi vida, poderme apoyar. El proyecto Acceso al Mundo es bueno porque llegan a tu casa y te ayudan para que puedas tener una mejor vida. Today we have people coming from many different communities to receive wheelchairs, crutches, walkers, and canes. Some of them are going to be participating in the sports camp we're going to have in a couple weeks. Others are going to be able to do other activities. But our goal is to not just give them a wheelchair, but to give them an opportunity to have a better quality of life. Yo conocí a Richard St. Denis a los dos años de accidentado. Me enseñó a usar una silla de ruedas y por medio de él estoy involucrado en el proyecto de Acceso al Mundo. Mi trabajo es ser mecánico de silla de ruedas. We have people that make upholstery for the wheelchairs that have been damaged and we refurbish wheelchairs that are in very bad condition to be able to give away to other people who need them. Yo entiendo la discapacidad de los demás y creo que la forma en que yo me he desarrollado y enseñarla a otras personas con la misma discapacidad mía, puede ser de gran ayuda y conocer más. If we just give them a wheelchair, they're going to sit in their house and watch the world go by. So we hold clinics and camps to teach them how to play sports, math, about the Bible. We're going to study music. We have a brand new world for them. These people aren't throwaway. So what we're able to do is get them out and they can enjoy the world. At first, it's, it seems like it's an impossibility to do it, but um, once they get on the court and we show them the techniques and we show them how to move their wheelchair, because the most important thing in the, in the beginning is to move your wheelchair to get yourself ready for the shot. Uh, once you get that, um, it's all about practicing, practicing, practicing. We've had six people that are fully integrated into the national tennis circuit here in Mexico, and so we teach them uh, concurrently on how to improve their game and to uh, do better in the tournaments. Las clínicas de deportes me han ayudado en el aspecto físico, ser más activo, mi cuerpo está bien, eh, me desestreso con jugar tenis, es otra vida, jugar deportes. And it's amazing, if you hold a tennis racket in one of their hands and they hit a tennis ball for the first time, they realize that they can do something. And as soon as they've sparked that in them, there's a motivation to go to work. At Harmony School, we have an individualized education program where they can study based on their own ability at their own pace. 
Because some of the schools in Mexico, old school especially, are not accessible for the wheelchair users, we provide a school which is accessible to those who cannot go to the public schools here in Mexico. Some of them are learning how to read, how to write, mathematics, adding, subtracting, and some of them are learning English. This school is good to get out of their house and be involved with somebody else in this world. We're going to El Oro. We're going to meet a young girl that we gave a wheelchair to previously, but her house isn't accessible. So we're going to make it accessible so she can get in and out of her house. She's a paraplegic, basically, and she can't move anything, and she can't talk. And so her parents take care of her, and they need a little more access in their house to make her life better and their life easier. A lot of people we give wheelchairs to can't get out of their house because it's not accessible. There are steps where it's very muddy, and so we go to their homes and build ramps and walkways so they can at least get out of their house and go outside. The motivation for World Access Project is to give these people that haven't had an opportunity a full, full life. We pray for them, we share our lives with them, and we invite them to be part of a community where people are active and outgoing. Tengo un trabajo, puedo manejar, eh, me desplazo en la calle, puedo salir a comprar cosas que necesito. Es muy útil para una persona que tiene un cierta limitación en las piernas. One of our students last year came to this warehouse to receive her first wheelchair, and they all, she also found out that we have a school, and she never had education in her life, so she started to come to our school. Bueno, la que recibí mi primera silla de ruedas, después de ahí empecé a trabajar y después conocí a mi esposo. Este, nos casamos, ya tengo cinco años de casada, tengo dos niños. Ahorita soy muy feliz por mi, con mis niños y mi esposo que me ha apoyado mucho. There are tens of thousands of people throughout Mexico who have disabilities and are stuck in their house. Last year we helped 642 of them and we want to be able to help at least a thousand people every year. Right now seven students in my school but in the future as the needs come in I would like to expand more to have a bigger school and also involve not only disabled students but able-bodied students all together. La meta de mi vida con la, aquí en la fundación es ayudar a más personas o yo como pintor, abrir una escuela grande o un taller grande con personas con discapacidad que pintemos y hagamos arte. The future goals for me is to continue on seating as many people as I can seat. Our long-term goal for World Access Project is to be able to help at least a thousand people every year, to provide them with a life rehabilitation center where they can come, they can learn employable skills, they can learn how to get around in their wheelchairs. To be able to have that life rehab center, we need our own property. We need a place where we can build a center where people can come, they can work, they can learn and grow. We need financial support so we can get the wheelchairs down here. And we ask for volunteers to come down and help us. It makes a giant difference because we can't do it alone. And what we need is people to come down and give their heart and soul to other people. Each container of wheelchairs and other medical equipment we bring from the United States costs $25,000. I want to bring down four containers a year. We ask people to pray so that we can continue to make a difference in the lives of people who need so much help. We want to put butts in seats. 